Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. So it's time for a lovely TTV shout out. So I want to go ahead and shout out carmarshall.com. They have over 100,000 vehicles, new and used. So if you guys are interested, if you're shopping for a new vehicle, you guys can go on their website, you shop, they do the negotiation. The link to their website will be pinned down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys check them out. So if you guys don't know, earlier this week, Tierra Marie, she's from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. She's also an R&B singer. But basically what happened is that her Instagram account was allegedly hacked, okay? And somebody uploaded porn of her basically slobbing the damn knob of her boyfriend Akbar, okay? She was polishing the hell out that damn knob. So of course this video went viral, the pictures went viral, social media went crazy. Honey, I was just sitting there sipping slow like, okay, I can't wait to see how all this shit plays out, okay? So after that, Tierra Marie admitted that it was her, but that she did not upload this herself. She says that she was hacked and she was just very hurt by the situation. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Tierra Marie speaking to her fans. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey guys, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to thank you for your outpouring love and support. And I wanted you to know that the last 24 hours have been very heartbreaking for me. Um, I thought that I was in love with somebody that loved me the same and that just wasn't right. So I learned a lesson, but I just want to thank you guys for your love, your support. And I want you to know that I'm surrounded by people who love me. Oh, <laughs> and we definitely love her and y'all tell her. <laughs> By people who love me and um, support me, and I can't thank you enough. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Tia Marie talking to the fans and basically stating her side. So a lot of people suspected that it was her boyfriend, Akbar, who leaked the tapes and posted on her Instagram page. She was also on TMZ talking about this as well. So Akbar got really upset because people were accusing him of this and saying that he should be arrested for revenge porn and everything else. Akbar is strongly denying this. He's saying that he has nothing to do with this and that it was probably one of Tierra Marie's exes who did this. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a snippet from TMZ and then I'm going to show you guys a video of Akbar secretly recording Tierra Marie going off on her. Go ahead and check this out. You calling your ex who leaked it? Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask him and look it. Yeah, your ex leaked it. Don't blame that on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got everybody thinking it's me. Tell the truth. You lying. You a liar. You lying. Ask him. Your ex been hitting her up. Tell the truth. Tell about your ex being what her about ex. Not me. Her ex, her ex had but everything. But you still was the one. Her ex had access to everything. Not me. And got this stuff. He keeps telling me that he didn't do it. Do you believe him? I don't know. I don't know who else could have ever had access. Was it a bad breakup? It hasn't even been a whole breakup. So you, wait, you were still oh, together with Oh, you guys are still person. together now. Yeah, we are. What? All right, honey. So you guys just saw that video. You guys saw Akbar basically blasting Tierra, saying that he had nothing to do with it. But with that being said, Tierra Marie did not care. She ended up basically breaking his windshield and busting out the windows of his G-Wagon. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. So obviously Tierra feels like he had something to do with it. He said that he didn't. It's a bunch of he said, she said. But either way, the damn porn is out there for everybody's consumption. But you know, I gotta keep it real. While I do feel bad for her, you know what I'm saying? If she didn't want this to get out there, then nobody had any business putting it out there. But a part of me has to keep it real. This sounds like an entire storyline for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, okay? I don't understand how many women have to be allegedly hacked before they realize that they should not be having sex on video. I don't care if it's your husband. I don't care if it's your boyfriend. 
If you are somebody who is even semi-famous, you know, a social media personality, a celebrity, you do not want to be having your most intimate moments filmed on tape because you never know whose hands they can get into. When you're recording something onto a cell phone, anybody can hack that and get that information and post it on social media for all to see. A few years ago, we had an incident where, you know, Apple iCloud was hacked and a lot of celebrities from Megan Good to Gabrielle Union, all types of people had their sex tapes blasted onto social media. The person person who did that had since been arrested and I believe they got 10 years in prison for that because you cannot, you know, post somebody's sexual moments on the internet without their damn permission. It's against the law. Just like revenge porn is against the law. But I still have to hold some of these women accountable as well. You know, there's too many stories out here. We all know what happens when you record yourself having sex on tape. It can get out there to anybody. So my thing is, in the best interest of females, do not allow yourself to be recorded. You know what I mean? This is me right here. This is my damn response every time a guy asks me to twerk or do some freaky shit on camera. Check this out. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Fuck it up, pop, fuck it up, pop, fuck it up, pop, fuck it up, pop. Y'all just see my response when people ask me for nudes and twerks and freaky shit. I just ignore them, okay? One, because I don't trust no damn body. And folks ain't gonna have me out here looking damn ratchet. And two, just, you know, even if you trust that person, if you're recording something on your phone, it can get into the hands of anybody. Nothing is 100% hack proof, okay? My thing is this. Tara Marie looks good. She's lost a lot of weight. She looks like she's feeling really good about herself. You know what I'm saying? I hope that she puts out some new music. But in my heart of hearts, I have to be honest, I feel like a lot of this is a storyline for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood because we all know she has no storyline besides her going to rehab. And what better way to, you know, get people reinterested in Tara Marie than to leak out some damn porn. And we know you, of course, from Love and Hip Hop. Your girl, Tierra Marie, she was caught up in something that was so unfortunate and so horrible with uh, some explicit footage getting leaked out. Have you had a chance to uh, reach out to her? Yeah, I tried to reach out to her. She changed her phone number, but um, I called Monice to try to get it because I actually saw it this morning. I was probably one of the first people. Um, but, you know, my heart breaks for that situation 100%. I think exploiting any woman is, is inappropriate and off limits 100%. doesn't matter if you participate or not. Um, that's something that should be kept private. Um, and it's, it's foul, man. That's some on some bitch ass shit. I hope that, you know, she's able to kind of like get through it because I know this is probably like, but, you know, I can't really speak on it too much. I don't know her personally. Do you have any advice just for the situation in general? I mean, own it. I mean, own it, you know, say what happened and just move on. You know, it's 2018. We got to get over shit. Tara, was it, was it a bad breakup? It hasn't even been a whole breakup. So, wait, you were still on the other one. together now. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess people are describing as an as an ex because right. they're assuming that you're breaking up because you're pissed about this leak. Well, after the whole sex tape. I would not be surprised if Mona Scott and her peoples talked her into doing this. Because, again, let's be honest, when was the last damn time anybody thought about Tierra Marie or that she was trending all over social media? You know, so she definitely got the attention and she definitely got the viral views that she wanted. Maybe it wasn't in the right way. But in this day and age, unfortunately, a leaked porn tape ain't never hurt nobody. It's only helped their damn career, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Tierra Marie and her sex sexual exploits being posted onto her Instagram page. Do you feel like, you know, this might be a setup for Love & Hip Hop Hollywood? Because her current boyfriend, who's also in the tape with her, he is staunchly denying this. And it seems like him and Tierra Marie are still together. And my thing is, if somebody that I trusted posted something like that of me, there would be no together. He would not be in my house. We would not be in the bedroom arguing. You'd be put the fuck out. So I don't understand how they're still in a relationship if he's the one who allegedly leaked the video. Now there's been an update to the story, and this is why I feel like all of this is contrived. Now Milan, who was on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, he was the gay guy on there who was dating the other undercover gay guy. Now there's video that has surfaced of him today where he's saying that he was meeting up with Akbar, Tierra's so-called boyfriend, and he's going to go confront him and supposedly they're trying to jump him. Like all of this shit just looks like a love and hip hop, you know what I'm saying, saga. Anyways, go ahead and check out this video of Milan Christopher going to confront Tierra's boyfriend, Akbar. Go ahead and watch this and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So this nigga Akbar, Want me to meet him in the parking lot? He think I'm a motherfucking pussy or something. Like a nigga ain't gonna pull up. So this nigga right here. All right, nigga. What's up, bro? What's up? Y'all see this bitch ass nigga? What's up? What's up, nigga? What's up? What's up? 
All of this shit looks like it's for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. It's gonna be very interesting to see what Tierra Marie does if she ends up calling the police, if she ends up pressing charges. But for now, I'm not buying any of this foolishness. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's your girl T, and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.